Alrighty then, all DF250 Dong Fang X22Rs owners. Big upgrade from the stock, non adjustable. Well, you can't really darn see it. Let's see if this works. No, nope, flash is unavailable, battery is too low. I don't know if you can really, really see it. But this. No, nope, we can't really make it out. Basically, the stock needle on our bikes is non adjustable. So I opted out for a, not a Makuni, but a Keening CG25. Well, what is it? Dang, I can't really focus. Nope. Also, I got the racing mount CDI. It's the blue version, which should remove the rev limiter. I've got the bike up to about 75 miles an hour at maybe 10,000 RPMs, so I want to see if I can get it to 12, you know, just for my purposes. Also, before I ordered anything, I found out that the needle was unadjustable. So, rummaging through my collection of crap, I found the washer. And it's the only one that fits out of the whole bunch that I do have. I only have a little bit. But they're all different sizes. And this one fits pretty snug. No, not pretty snug, but it fits pretty much in there. Falls right in place. And uh, I was going to use that to enrich, enrich in the fuel mixture. But since I ordered the spare part for the bike and don't worry the tank is sitting on a towel so don't ruin anything I'm gonna put that as you see I got the pod filter inside there I'm gonna put that new needle and hopefully enrich in the air to fuel ratio being that I'm taking the air intake out this bad boy was the air intake system. Well, actually the secondary air intake system, as you see the two holes, this was going into the carburetor, and this itty bitty restrictive hole was sucking all the air in, which is found on the left side of the bike behind this black panel that holds the key for the seat. So basically it's facing this way. Uh, as we all know, air velocity is important, and that wasn't doing the trick with the combination of a high restrictive air filter. As you see, it only used one part of the filter for about 400 miles. It only got a little dirty. Is that a bug? No, it's cotton lint. Yeah, my camera is very unwilling to focus but this is the only part of the air that was actually hit in the filter which again air needs velocity to actually be efficient it's like blowing into your hand with a closed fist and you're expecting high velocity until you open your hand just enough to let the air pass through um, other than that so far many many bags of goodies just waiting to be opened and yes you see one of those cables is the oil oil cooler coming too and a lot of other things but yep trucker to be using a phone to record next time I will bring my HD camera so we can get better shots with good lighting but for right now, this is the only update. And I will, oh, also, uh, what I really wanted to tell you guys was about 
you really can't see it, but you see that the paint, the sticker around this area was chafing really bad. I mean, this is rough, rough chafing right into the tank. and went through the sticker to the actual metal of the tank, and it chafed so bad that um, it's affecting, you know, all the paint job around here. Actually, if you can see it, it's right there. You know, it's chafing. Got a little paint dribble, but that's nothing. This minute stuff uh, around here, here, there. I mean, this is just from the fairing, rubbing on the tank a lot. So basically, what I did was take uh, some sand grit 220 paper. You know, rub it real down really good, as you can see. Can you see? Right here, I rub that down. It's gonna yes, it's gonna take the pain off, but at least it won't rub in the tank so much that uh, you get vibrations, you get weird noises, as I was getting. And this area was really, really bad. I really can't see. This area was really bad here. Sanded that down. There was a sharp edge and bevel here, which was really bad. And on the tank, which caused this, was right about in this area. There was a very, very rough cut in this area, which was right around here. It was a big lump. Uh, I don't know what you would call it. But it was just like a lump of primer and it was hitting the tank so much that um, it just cut right on through the, the sticker straight to the tank. Uh, there's minimal damage. It's just a paint job spray over. You know, I have paint for that. But other than that, you know, you just uh, check your bike. And as I was saying, if you can see, the rectifier has a little bit of damage on it. I did reposition the nut and bolt that held it on was in the rear. I put it in the front so that it could get away from the, the uh, gas tank. It did sustain a little bit of damage to the fins and right here. It's very rough. Uh, nothing the spray can't fix. You know, nobody's going to really see it. But it did. This was a rattling sound that I was having. It was actually the tank bouncing off of the regulator rectifier. And, um,. I was wondering what it was. It sounded like it was the frame, but the frames here, the regulator rectifiers here, and I couldn't pinpoint it before I knew how to take the bike apart. You know, if you're getting weird noises, buzzing, you know, things of that nature besides the actual vibrations from the bike, you know, open it up, find out what it is, and hopefully you find out, you know, what's bugging you. Other than that, that's as far as the update that I have right now. I do have LED lights coming in, and for this itty bitty spot of space between the brake lever, the uh, the housing for the, the triple tree, I'm going to try to fit something really, really, really right in between here, just like I did the phone mount. There's enough room, here's the uh, brake handle, there's enough room to mount something in between the uh, kill switch and the handle. There's enough room to get a lot of things in there. This is for your phone, you know, you didn't really have enough room to do it on this side. But I do have a, a little small surprise coming in. So stay tuned and uh, be prepared to say, oh, you could do that? Because from stock it doesn't look like you get much in there. I'm going to make it work. So what we got to do, tinker. Catch you guys later.